welcome back to my channel. This is part four of a four part video series, Heaven, Hell, and Aliens. Uh, this is the final and most probably interesting segment of the whole thing where I put a giant UFO over my entire map, or at least over the entire Earth section of the map. So to do this, I'm going to grab my green color and then just start building a big tower so that I can get really high. And oh, actually, I can't do it there because that's the section that bisects. That's the section that bisects the rest of my, my city. Um, so I have to go even bigger. I've got to go over here. Or here. And then all I need is for this to be higher than the church. Um, perfect. Just a little bit higher. Okay. And then I'll just start. I'll, I'll remove this whole section of the tower. And then I can start building along the wall perimeter so that I can create kind of a flat flat base section. How will I know when I get to the end? Oh, actually, I'll, i got to keep going past past the staircase, kind of around the whole staircase area. I love that curve. So, for this whole next section, I didn't talk for some reason. One of these moments where I was talking in my head and not talking in real life. Honestly, there wasn't a whole lot to talk about, though. Um, basically, I was building this UFO by stacking successively smaller layers on top of each other, kind of to make the outside disk of a you know conventional UFO shape. And then I would have a flat plateau at the top, and then make kind of a dome on top of that. I actually kind of like the sound of putting down tiles beaded up, so I'm not going to talk for like the next minute, and you can just appreciate that if you like it. If not, you can just skip ahead. At one point, I thought that I wanted to have towers on top of the UFO, maybe to simulate guns or something, um, but they just didn't look like anything other than towers, and so I deleted them and, and went for a simple shape. And then for the top part, what can I do? Let's go, let's go with blue. Awesome. Okay, so I think that's, I think that's, uh, I think that's it for the UFO section. Oh no. Oh no, what I can do is I can add little um, little rings to show that people are being sucked up or to show that there's a force. Um, and these rings can kind of be a turquoise-ish color. Maybe the bottom layer should be turquoise. We'll, we'll see. 
Oh no. No, if I want to have a ring, it would have to... Yeah, I can't do that. Unfortunately. So, for some reason I don't explain this, but the reason I can't do those rings is that it's okay to make kind of a pancake shape that won't make any exterior corners. It'll only make one interior corner on the outside. But the problem is that on the inside of a ring, rather than a pancake, on the inside of a ring, that um, ex interior corner becomes an exterior corner, uh, which would then create a big column going straight down into heaven, which is exactly what I didn't want to have happen, and is exactly what inspired the video in the first place. And then in this next section, I decided that the exterior was too boring, so I added some red lights on the outside of the UFO by adding a red house piece every two green ones. And what I didn't realize it would do, but I really like, is it changes the color of the roof so you have this other additional patterning in line with the lights on the outside of the UFO. Awesome. So I think the UFO is done. Um, I could add... No, I think the UFO is done. Perfect. So that's the simplest part. It was basically just a giant hill, and you can see the bottom has this orange, bright orange color. So it kind of looks like it's a... Uh, a light beaming down and everything maybe trying to suck it all up um, and so that's the whole build that's heaven hell and aliens you've got heaven right here hell right here the earth landscape over here and then above it all is just one big UFO trying to suck everything up um, oh actually this is supposed to okay now it's finished I just gotta wait for it to refresh this whole build is huge. It's the biggest thing I've ever made. So it takes a very long time for it to refresh the roofs and to refresh the grass and kind of just refresh everything and get it all going again. Perfect. Or actually, you know, heaven should probably have roofs instead of flat walls. So let's build some flat walls. I wonder why it doesn't have them to begin with. Let's wait for that to refresh. Perfect. So I think I'm done with pretty much the whole thing. Uh, at the top, you've got this section. This section was the easiest to build, the alien section. Basically just a bunch of rows of, uh, of roofs to make kind of this bottom green portion and then the top is I would imagine you know the cockpit or the control center for the rest of the ship and then underneath you can see it's got this bright green color uh, so it's kind of sucking up everything everything beneath it and then right below that we've got heaven heaven is just everything is perfect everything you can imagine heaven would be is up there it's got a bunch of really nice gold and white towers it's got a bunch of walkways with really nice views you can get closer and see that it's got uh, a courtyard, kind of a cloister meditation area up top, and then a much larger courtyard down low. And then in that down low courtyard, there are all these small little houses where the residents of heaven can live. They also have this church here in case they want to worship, um, as well as uh, this judgment center where um, as soon as they get to the top of the stairs, they get, you know, judged. And if they're good, they go through the golden door here into the heaven area. If they're bad, they have to walk the plank and end up in the hell area. And then beneath that, we have our earth area, which is just a small city. Let's see if I can zoom in. It's a little difficult when, you map, when your map becomes so big because the top wants to drag you up. Um, but this is the this is the town. It's kind of a small town compared to how large my my builds usually are. So I tried to make it as compact as possible. I split it up into three sections basically. These two grassy sections, uh, which have a line of houses protecting um, the two grassy sections from the proliferation of this pavement area. Um, and then the pavement area has two roads going down. It one kind of main road going between the end of the street and the church and one side road kind of leading into this quieter residential neighborhood. 
It also has this main commercial building, this main town hall building. Um, it's got a barn right here with some kind of additional farm structure next door. And then in the back, this is supposed to be kind of like a big cliff or a big mountain or something. Obviously, it looks like a courtyard because the townscaper only lets you build buildings. Um, but that's what that's supposed to be. And then if you go to a direct aerial view of it, let's see, you can see there's a big um, drop there. And that drop is what leads you. Oops. Because it's so tall, I really can't see the underworld very well. Um, and that's what leads you into kind of the underworld area. Let's see if I can see. Okay, so you can't see it very well, but that is the tower uh, where once you drop down, you come out of the gate of. And then right here is the oops, is the border of the river. I'm kind of imagining this is the river Styx, like in Greek mythology. I used to read those Percy Jackson books, so I know a lot about it, um, as does everybody else. And once you uh, get across the river, shoot, I really can't see it very well. Once you get across the river, you're led into the gates of hell, uh, into this kind of harbor area where you get off and you enter this maze. This maze is just the brunt of what hell is, I'm kind of imagining, where you never know where you are, you never know where you're going, you have no destination, you're just kind of miserable going up and down these stairs, hopping over these ponds, um, kind of just suffering forever. And then the middle of hell, you've got this castle here. So whoever is the king of the underworld, maybe it's Hades or maybe it's Satan or whoever, is living in that castle, kind of watching over uh, the maze from the top of the tower. And then around hell, you've got these four guard towers. I think it's one, two, three, and then there's a fourth one over there. And those are just to guard people from uh, trying to escape the maze. Even if they escape, they end up in this infinite ocean. Um, but those towers are there anyway. So that is the build. Um, thank you for sticking with me through this whole thing. Uh, if you haven't seen the first three parts, I'm going to link them to the right right now. Um, but with that, thank you very much for joining me in making this whole kind of fantastical scenario uh, of heaven, hell, and aliens. I would appreciate it if you'd subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you know when I'm about to drop my next video. I don't know exactly when that will be. I don't have a firm schedule yet. But hopefully it'll be soon. Uh, it's right now, it seems like I'm going on kind of like an everyday schedule, but it'll probably get a little bit less frequent in the future. Thank you very much once again for joining me. Black Lives Matter, and I hope you have an excellent day.